Hey, this is Jacob from Rich Solar. I'm here at Solar Bill in Quartzsite. I'm excited to be here. This guy. Hi, Billy and Jacob here. We are at Solar Bills today with Gus and Rose is off camera, but these are the owners of Solar Bills. And we come here every year in January for a pre-seminar before the big tent show in Quartzsite. Um, thank you so much for having us here, Gus. Oh, thank you for coming over, Billy. Jacob, every year we have this seminar a day before the big tent show. We call it the show before the big show. Rose and I, we invite our biggest contributors to our shop, which Rich is one of them. And actually, Rich is trying to be in the two best vendors that we have right here in the shop, Rich Solar. And we all this, we owe it to Billy because he's my point of contact over there. And he always backs me up with my customers. It's, it's been a really, it's two way street. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I'm everything here. Gus uh, mentors me in a way uh, in customer service that uh, I didn't know I needed to know. And uh, it's really, it's been a fun learning experience. Uh, we've been growing together. Yeah. And um, and with that, uh, the reward comes to our customers because uh, they leave with a good product, good customer service. And even down the road there, they know they, uh, they, they, they leave with the knowledge of how to run their system. So it's a it's a win-win-win for everybody, I think. Um, I don't know if you guys know of Rage Solar. They are the leading, one of the leading solar uh, companies in the industry. They are our main leading distributors here in um, solar bills. So I'm not gonna steal nothing away from Billy. I'm 100% his company because it's wonderful the way he introduces himself. And here's Billy. Thank you, Gus. Can everyone hear me in the back? Everyone's okay? Yeah? You can hear me, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Billy from Ritz Solar, like uh, Gus was saying. And we're happy to be back here at the, you know, Solar Bill because we just came out with a new panel here. This is a 250 watt solar panel. It has basically the same footprint as the 200 watt, um, but that's not it. If you notice here, we have, it's bisected there. I don't know if you can see in the back, but right down the center, there's a, a, a large bus bar that's going through. So if you know anything about solar, when you get shading on a panel, let's say I put my hand over here and the sun's, you know, behind us. If I put my hand here, the whole panel gets shut down, basically. It gets greatly reduced. So with this, it's actually two 125 watt panels. So if your air conditioner or vent duct, uh, a branch at the campsite is leaning over here, you still have 125 watts always producing for you. Always having energy coming through means your batteries stay topped off full. You know, make sure you can run your coffee in the morning or if you had hair, you could run a hair dryer. But uh, <laughs> I miss those days. Has anyone come here again from last year? Is everyone new here? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Does everyone have solar on their rigs already? Yeah? No? No. no. Is this anyone's first trip to Quartzsite? Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. I was not as, <laughs> what do you guys think of it so far? You guys having fun? Yeah. Neighbors okay? <laughs> Enjoying the freedom in Arizona? <laughs> yeah, we love coming back here every year and um, Gus and Rose um, are always so welcoming and they will answer any of your questions you have. They have our numbers. If you guys have any questions, we provide great customer service. Um, we have tech support. Jacob's here, standing here next to me, the tall drink of water here. Um, the other guys um, before us, um, they like to go into the details. I'm just here to present to you um, our new panels. And then we also have a new battery. We've been producing batteries for a couple of years now, um, but we now have a battery that's a lithium battery 
that contains internal uh, heating. So if you are staying in the colder states, um, you don't have to stick with AGM. So AGM is really good in the cold because if the cells freeze, you can still they can still discharge and take a charge. But um, now with this, you reduce the weight. This is about 20 pounds. AGMs are about 60, or no, it'd be about 120 pounds for a 200 amp hour. So you'll be saving on the at the gas pump when you switch to lithium. These also have a uh, Bluetooth capable. At any time, you just look up at your phone how much battery life you have left. So you don't have to get out of bed to know if uh, you can make that cup of coffee in the morning. But yeah, all our products are here behind Jacob. We have really everything from the panel all the way down to the battery, everything in between. What we're trying to do different from everyone else is just to be there for you. I'm on the off-grid prepper side of life. Uh, I like to be prepared for what's coming. Um, whatever company you decide to go with, um, I just want everyone to here to have their energy independence. I, I'm, not, I'm not here to, to steer you one way or the other, but uh, I'll just give you my honest answers. But I just want everyone to try to get as much information as possible. You know, it's nice to meet everybody here, and I hope to hear from all of you. Anything you need to, you need, you need to ask, I have an Aussie, I got my Jacob here, and Brandon. He's quiet, but he makes the videos. If you have anything that you want to have explained in detail, he's going to hire the tall drink of water next to me and make that video for you. And uh, again, it's, it's great to be a part of an off-grid company that we can bring that you know, energy independence across America. That's, you know, for whatever's coming next, that's, if we have that, then we really have everything. If it's flush mount on top of your RV and you don't do the tilt, which I see everybody doing, what kind of loss do you have? We we actually did a video on this where um, we tried it flat on the floor and then angled it, and it was in the middle of the summer, like he was saying. What we noticed was voltage was roughly the same. You probably lost maybe one, maybe half a volt, but amperage, it went from being nine and a half amps all the way down to seven amps just for being laid flat. And that was at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, in the middle of the sun, like California weather. So you do receive a significant drop regardless of where the sun is. Um, even with it directly above you, there is still a little bit of a drop. It's just because there's always that slight Are your panels walkable? Are the panels able to be walked upon? I, I don't recommend walking on glass panels. The glass that they make solar panels with, um, there's a, I don't, I don't know if it's trademark, but it's called Gorilla Glass. You could walk on it. Uh, there's a cool video, a guy made a snowboard out of one or a, a couple of them, and he snowboarded down the whole mountain, it didn't break. Um, but there is a funny video out there, uh, I think it's with Current Connected uh, guys, he walks on a 410 panel, back and forth, back and forth, and, it, and, it, and it's you can do it. I, I highly don't recommend it though, just, yeah, it's, not, it's rated for a lot of heavy snow, uh, but when you put that one pressure point on it, it's asking for it. Along the rails, if you're going to have to step on one, would be a, that's where I'd recommend. So. You can get full wattage in the lab. <laughs> There's a drawer. There's a drawer. I'll get right. I'll get right to you. There's a drawer that they put the panel in, and it's temperature controlled drawer, and uh, perfect environment, and the lights flash it. And that'll tell you what the wattage of the panel is. So that that so the perfect conditions can exist. Um, we do have some of our panels, like with Will Prouse's videos. He he did he was in Nevada. He had the Nevada sun. It was a cool spring day. Um, he was getting over. I think he was testing our 100 watts. He was getting like 110. So you can get higher wattage out of them. You you need to know uh, the angle for your latitude. Uh, you want to be facing south, and then uh, the temperature should be around 71 degrees. 71 degrees around there. Yeah, give or takes. Yeah, cooler, <laughs> cooler the better. Cooler the more voltage you'll get, lower amps, but uh, they work better in cooler conditions. So you would think during the middle of summer it would be better, um, but the heat actually uh, doesn't allow you to produce as much. 
Uh, coolers maybe next year. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out, guys.